Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kagam. Okay, so I wanted to basically let you guys know super quick about the Cartier price increase. The Bulgari is also having a price increase. So there's a bunch of things that we need to talk about really quick. So yeah, let me just tell you everything and then we'll have some chit chat at the end. So first of all, before I get started, some of you were like, your videos are too long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry some of them are too long. It's just that I have a lot of things to say. So you can you can just go read my blog. So I have written a Cartier price increase post, a very short one on my blog. It's linked below. If you don't want to watch my whole video, go read my blog. My blog is a much more of a mixture of stuff. I'm going to be adding much more stuff to it as well this month. It's going to be luxury. It's going to have like some beauty things in there, skincare as well. I'll be posting like my favorite products and stuff on my blog. So you can go check it out on there if you think you think I talk too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do. I love talking. Um, I love just chatting and talking. So it is what it is. All right. Go check out my articles link below. So what is going on at Cartier, honey? You know, Cartier is my favorite brand. Let me tell you, they are having a price increase um, and it's going to be from May. So basically it's going to be like, I think it's like they said between five to 8%. Now there was some rumors in January about a price increase, but I didn't believe those ones because it was one influencer um, and it was an influencer in North America, but there was no intel from Europe and you know Cartier is a Swiss brand, even though it was you know, founded in Paris originally. It is run from Geneva in Switzerland. Um, and normally, if you don't really hear anything happening in Europe, that's normally a sign that it's probably not gonna happen because obviously if it happens, it's going to happen in Swiss francs first before it happens in any other currency. Um, but this one, the rumors really did actually come from Europe. They came from Switzerland, they came from France, they came from a bunch of other um, EU countries. I saw a bunch of people in groups in different European countries saying that this was going to happen. Um, so I'm more inclined to believe it just because Cartier is a Swiss brand, obviously. And I did see some people from the US and Canada saying the same thing. So when we have a worldwide chorus and everyone's singing from the same hymn sheet, it seems to have more legs. It is going to be worldwide. Like I said, it's going to be from between 5% um, to 8%. It's going to be on everything. So jewelry, their watches, it's going to be from absolutely everything. Um, I love Cartier. My, I mean, my God, it's my favorite luxury brand. I love the brand so much. I'm not too mad about this because I don't think that the increase is like massive. I don't feel like it's a huge increase. I don't feel like this increase in, is really going to like um, affect a lot of you who are big um, Cartier clients. Um, and the reason why I don't feel like it's going to affect um, a lot of you is because, like I said, the increase itself is not actually that big relative to the other increases that we've seen from other brands. Um, but obviously, like I said, it's going to be their fine jewelry and it's also going to be their watches. I'm, I'm assuming their high jewelry pieces will probably go up as well. And they do actually have a new high jewelry collection that's also on the way. So it's probably going to be everything. You know, they have their stationary bits. They have also their like lifestyle home items as well so it might just be worth you know noting that just in case you want to pick something up maybe you want to go now I feel like now is a good time to go get like their watches like when I go traveling I'm definitely going to be going to Cartier um, I think now is a great time to pick up a Cartier watch or to pick up a really pricey piece from the Juste en Clou or uh, Love Collection or the Accru or the Clash um, collection because I feel like um, I mean for example I remember when their massive Pave Love bracelet I remember when that was like 37,000 euros or something like that and it's now like 43,800 like and I've been following the price of that because it's one of my holy grail items that I've loved for many years so I think it was just worth just kind of letting you guys know about that I'd love to know what you think about the Cartier price increase um, are you mad about it do you care do you not care are you going to be getting anything from Cartier I mean what don't I want from Cartier I've already done my Cartier wish list that I film so you can go check that out it's on my channel pages I'd love to know what you guys are getting another brand that is having a price increase is Bulgari they're going to be having a price increase on the 15th of April I saw someone mention this in a Facebook group all of my info I got from Facebook groups um, I didn't see it anywhere else so we'll see we'll see if all of this comes to pass because it's possible that it won't 
and maybe um, none of the increases will happen. But I thought I would just let you know. I don't want to gatekeep information um, and keep it to myself. I was like, let me just let you guys know in case you're interested and in case you want to go ahead um, and make a purchase. So on the 15th of April, unpopular opinion, I don't actually like Bulgari's bags. I don't like the Serpenti line. However, I love everything else they, that they do. I love their watches. I love their fine jewelry. I love their rings, their, their bangles, their bracelets and everything. I love everything else. I just don't like the bags. I know many of you love the bags. I personally do not like them, but um, I know many people like them. Although I have heard from some of you that they are fantastic quality. So you'll have to let me know what you think about that. Another thing that I wanted to tell you about, which is a fine jewelry update, is oh my gosh, go on Shomei's um, Instagram page and go check out some of their new um, products. I'm going to put some up on the screen. They've got some beautiful new fine jewelry with Akoya pearls. They've got rings. They've got earrings. They're absolutely breathtaking and beautiful. If you don't know, Shomei is um, one of the oldest um, jewelry brands in the world. It was founded in 1780 um, and they were in the Place Vendôme in 1812 Cartier was founded like much later and for some reference like they were running around in Place Vendôme 1812 Big Hache was founded in 1837 I mean, Louis Vuitton was founded in 1854. I think Boucheron was founded in 1858. Chaumet has been around for ages and ages and ages. It is a legendary brand. I feel like the brand is starting to pick up some steam now. Um, I feel like they're going in a different direction. It's very fresh, it's very modern, super elegant, very refined. Like when I think of Chaumet's jewelry, I think of refined elegance. Like a lot of you who like Van Cleef and Arpel, I think you're gonna like this brand. And I think Chaumet is a brand that you guys have to check out very under the radar as well. But I feel like they're picking up steam and they're getting a lot of attention. To my knowledge, they don't really work with influencers. That's something I kind of like about this brand. They use a lot of models in their pictures and stuff. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing. I'm loving the jewelry. This is um, very much out of my comfort zone. Um, as most of you know, I prefer I prefer like flashier jewelry. Like I like Cartier's jewelry because it's so flashy. It's so out there and it really shouts. Um, this jewelry is very elegant, super refined very 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 elegant um but there is some ice there as well and yeah really really impressed with what i saw on their instagram so i just wanted to let you know go check out their instagram you won't be disappointed they've got lots of new um scores and new arrivals and things that they um have yeah basically been creating i'm loving the rings that i'm seeing from this new line i think this line is called the Josephine something line. I've forgotten the name now because it was also in French. It was quite hard to pronounce, but it's got basically, um, it's got, it's got like, they're like rings with like a coir pearls, also earrings. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. I was like, I just had to let you guys know about that. I'll link the uh, Instagram below so you can go check it out and you will tell me what you think if you like Chaumet. I feel like there's so many great jewelry brands out there that are actually legacy brands that we don't ever really talk about. Um, and I feel like, and don't get, don't get me wrong. I love Cartier's bits. Um, and I know many of you like Van Cleef and Arpel, but I feel like there's just so many great um, brands out there that we need to talk about. Um, and I will have another, I will have a fine jewelry video that's just dedicated to fine jewelry brands coming soon. A lot of you were like, check out Alma Sica. I did. I liked what I saw. A lot of you love Masika, which is another brand, which also has great jewelry. There are lots of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jewelry that you guys have to check out. Another thing that I wanted to quickly tell you, and the reason why I'm saying it in this price increase, we, if this price increase videos because I know um, more people watch price increase videos than if I just was like hey guys go watch this um, or go check this out so um, when it pertains to um, emeralds like when, whenever we think about emeralds they're like two basically two varieties you have the Colombian emerald which is a really famous one and then you have Zambian emeralds I wanted to tell you guys about Zambian emeralds because I feel like this stone is so beautiful so gorgeous Zambian emeralds and Colombian emeralds have two major differences. Essentially, Colombian emeralds are like that bright emerald green, like they glow, you know, almost like incandescent. Whereas the Zambian emerald, obviously from Zambia, which is in Africa, hello, <laughs> the Zambian emerald um, has like a bluish kind of tint to it a little bit and um, they have more like inclusions or flaws now 
I actually love the the sort of inclusions and the the marks that you see in more Zambian emeralds because I feel like it gives the st the stone more character and if you have it in a jewelry jewelry piece I feel like it just has more character obviously um, I just wanted to quickly mention it and yes I'm biased okay I'm from Tanzania I live in Africa I live in Tanzania now of course I'm a little bit more biased but of course the Colombian emeralds are super beautiful but I just wanted to quickly tell you guys about Zambian emeralds as well I will link a picture below of a Zambian emerald jewelry piece that I think was super beautiful that you can guys go you can go check out and you can tell me if you like the way it looks but I just wanted to quickly tell you guys about that okay now I wanted just to have um, some chit chat um, so I don't know if have you guys noticed like a few like days ago and weeks ago there are like a lot of videos from a lot of luxury influencers bloggers and even on Instagram like a lot of luxury Instagrammers are kind of saying goodbye like to luxury brands like they're saying goodbye Big H but goodbye Louis Vuitton goodbye Chanel um, and they're saying goodbye to them they're saying that they're not going to be shopping from them at the moment this isn't a response to anyone in particular it's sort of a general comment because um, I thought it was really interesting I wanted to kind of chat about it and again because I know more people will watch this price increase vid so I'll be able to reach more people <laughs> but um, I wanted to kind of just tell you guys like my opinion on it and what I think about these um, like th this whole thing of are these price increases too much so there are a bunch of vids that have been um, uploaded by different influencers and bloggers about how price increases have become too much and many people are now deciding to stop shopping from luxury brands and they want to shop from just different type of houses let's say I've also seen this a lot on Instagram so like I said it's about no one in particular because I've seen this everywhere I've seen this on Instagram I've seen this on YouTube I've seen this on Facebook um, I've seen it on a, a wide variety um, of, of brands basically so uh, I've seen it on a wide variety of channels essentially about a wide variety of brands so I wanted to like understand from you guys like what do you guys think about this do you think that price increases are going to end up pushing everyone away from these houses let me tell you what I think first of all I think you have the right to do what you want with your money if you don't want to shop luxury brands do not shop from luxury brands but what I think is interesting is I find it super interesting the way as consumers like a lot of consumers feel like they want to be the ones to decide how much something is I find that really interesting as a businesswoman because I'm like the business will decide how much something is if you decide you don't want to buy it that's your right but I do think it's really interesting I've noticed that with um, Big C and with Big Louis Vuitton as well people are like oh my god their stuff is too expensive it's too pricey like I'm not I'm not buying that I'm not buying that that's way too much money it should be X amount you don't know how much goes into the cost to manufacture those goods you don't know how much they're paying their staff to manufacture those products there are lots of different variables and of course yes you know we've talked about how these brands want to push people out they want to reach um you know different people who have much more liquid funds you know to spend on luxury yes that's true but at the same time um i'm just curious about like why why are people having such a strong reaction and saying they're leaving luxury brands and they're no longer going to be shopping from them so in my opinion what i think is happening is I think that there are different priorities happening now um, and I think people's priorities are changing. I think a lot of people, um, you know, the world has basically opened up. There are all kinds of things going on in the world, you know, without getting too political. Um, and I think people are thinking about things differently. I'll tell you where I stand. I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> okay. um, I've loved luxury since I was like 16 years old. Okay. <laughs> I love luxury. I love luxury brands. I think they're fantastic. Um, the thing that I would say is luxury brands are going to do whatever they want to do. You can go do whatever you want to do. But I don't feel like it benefits anyone being like, I'm going to completely leave luxury brands and no longer shop from them. Because people have long memories. Like if you say that you're not going to shop from a luxury brand and then you go back shopping there, people are going to come up in those comments and be like, you said you weren't shopping from there anymore. I think that um, luxury brands have been very dedicated to um, pricing people out I think they have priced a lot of um, people out from their brands um, from, from their um, from their products essentially and it's and you know you know we always say this is not just about bags it's about everything because these luxury houses they make all kinds of products I mean they have priced like people out um, out of a lot of different products not just bags like everything I mean even me like I love luxury cars and 
I'm always looking at the price of like new luxury cars and um, there's a car that I'm looking to purchase and I was looking at the price of it. It has gone up a lot. I still love it and I'm definitely still going to get it. But they, they definitely have been thinking about how to price people out and how to reach different types of consumers. And a lot of you, I think, have been talking down on yourselves and you shouldn't. And I hope I've never made anyone feel like that. A lot of you are balling. Some of you were asking me, what do I think about the fact that Louis Vuitton have put a bunch of canvas on their um, US site? What does this mean? Some of you are sending me videos. You're sending me Instagram posts from different um, YouTubers, creators. Um, and asking me for my opinion. Um, honestly, I don't really think it's a big deal. I know that people are making it a big deal. And the reason why I don't think it's a big deal is because the EU site, um, so Louis Vuitton have, has different websites, obviously. They have their website that's in French, but they also have an EU site that's in England. Um, I mean, that's in English and it ships from the Netherlands. So they have their UK site, they've got different sites um, across Europe, they have their French speaking site, then they have their Anglophone European site that ships from the Netherlands. and that is the site that I use to check um, Louis Vuitton prices for myself if I'm interested in something. And on that site, Canvas is basically there pretty much all the time you can find something. Even if it is sold out, they'll restock it. I don't think it's this thing of like, oh my God, they're selling, they're giving people Canvas because no one's buying Canvas. Louis Vuitton is the most profitable luxury brand in the world. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me tell you something, honey. Big LV is not going to let you sit there and say those things like, oh, well, now, you know, she wants to sell canvas. They've been selling canvas. I think that they just found an opportunity to offer more canvas to U.S. clients. But it's business as usual. Canvas is being de-emphasized. They want you to buy leather. They want you to buy luggages and exotics. All the same things that, you know, we've talked about on this channel. I thought it was just really interesting to see a lot of influencers talking about going in different directions and not talking about luxury um, because the luxury price increases have gone too much and it's like the, the, the luxury goods have become really really expensive and they don't really want to chat about them anymore it's super super interesting i'll just tell you where i stand i'm always going to talk about luxury because this is a luxury channel um, in the original days of this channel, the original point of it was doing like luxury and high street, but then I realized that there was more of an appetite for like my views on luxury. Um, so I was more than happy, you know, to do that because I love luxury so much, even though I love high street stuff, I love luxury a lot as well. But, um, you know, you don't have to worry about any goodbye Big H or goodbye Chanel, goodbye Louis Vuitton videos from me. I'm here. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I also have so many great videos coming that I don't want you guys to miss out on. Who wants to see my my luxury menswear video i've been working on that um i'm really proud of that one as well i've got my bait series that um, is going to be finished very soon i have a bonus video this week because i'd like to finish my bait series this week um so make sure you stick around for that i've got a um if you're interested i've got a luxury car video if you'd like um some tips on which luxury cars to buy i love cars i love high-end cars if you want to watch that one as well i've also got a luxury watch video i love luxury generally speaking so i'd love to feature more of different types of things um i think i'd mentioned to you guys that i was going to go to zanzibar with my husband but is it is obviously ramadan at the moment so i'd like to wait for ramadan to finish and then once ramadan ends i will um, be heading to zanzibar as well so i can't wait to show you that um because we'll probably stay somewhere really nice so i'd love to show you more like luxury hotel stuff it's always going to be luxury on this channel it is luxury 24 7. i'm not i'm not going i'm not filming filming a goodbye video but i know why people are tired <laughs> <laughs> because these price increases are crazy i i feel like these price increases are what they are i think something else to note is like so many people who shop luxury have inherited money i know that this is like a really taboo topic um to even bring up um i've realized i've never really talked about it so let me talk about it now because i'm feeling really chatty but a lot of people a lot of you guys watching you've all inherited money you've inherited money you've inherited homes assets stocks and all of this um, that plays a huge role in having great financial stability because you can weather all kinds of shocks. Someone who hasn't inherited money and who maybe doesn't have a massive income, um, essentially at this point, definitely Chanel has priced that person out. Like if you don't have a massive income, you haven't inherited money, um, and you maybe you have like an average income, which is fine by the way, I just want to be clear about that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's going to be really, really hard to save to save your way into scoring um, a lot of things from brands like Chanel and Hermes, for example. But if you are someone who you know you have a phenomenal income, you have a great job, you have a you know a really good business, or you've inherited money, you live off trusts and investments and stuff. I mean, what are these price increases to you? We always say how oh they want people who are really rich. No, 
they want you guys who are watching this channel because most of you who are watching this channel you're all bowling super super hard and you can all afford these price increases and i think that is an uncomfortable reality the fact that the wealth requirements from these brands has become so high i think that is making a lot of, that is making a lot of people feel very uncomfortable with that because people feel like these brands just want too much from us so i understand both sides but at any rate i will continue filming my videos for as long as you um keep watching them so i really hope you stick around like i told you i'll have a bonus video this week it will come out on friday because my, i want my i want to finish my bait series because i have other really cool videos i want to show you guys next week that i know you're gonna love so you let me know if you're interested in seeing my mentor video my luxury mentor video my luxury car video um i have so many great amazing videos that are coming this month so i'm super excited thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very soon in my next video